trending story on the internet. So there's this restaurant called Amy's Baking Company. The owners are nuts. This was jobs. the first time in the history of the show he decided this place was beyond hell. Gordon Ramsay even is like, I'm out of here. I just could not believe how this couple treated their and they customers. Just kept going and going with the same stuff over right. and over. Hundreds of people are turning to social media to voice their Sammy anger. And Amy's, they're on Facebook right. now, just trashing everybody. It got uglier and uglier for there. There were threats, nasty online These messages. Are freaking crazy. This is what you don't ever do. I'm actually not. A lot of action on social media. Memes and jokes oh and photoshops. Worldwide backlash. Unbelievable to see all of it bubble up online. Wow, it was so crazy. The episode of Kitchen Nightmares about Amy's Baking Company was a pretty special one because it was the first time Gordon Ramsay walked away from a restaurant. Wow. Which is something he never does. And it definitely sparked a curiosity. People were incredibly interested in this story. There were thousands of comments directed at Amy and Sammy, basically calling them bad crazy. Everyone was under the consensus that these people were not particularly normal. The problem was Amy and Sammy started responding to these comments. As the comments started pouring in, Amy and Sammy just kept posting and posting and posting. They just attacked everybody and just posted status after status, just swearing, calling people out on everything, and just continuing their cyberbullying. What they do best, I guess. <laughs> we just sort of kept watching them in a mixture of shock and horror. You just want to tell these people, no, don't, don't do that. That's a bad idea. And story the story just went viral. People were sharing all different types of content from satirical cartoons. Think that you can come in here and say these things. To YouTube videos. Meow, 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 meow. Clips, GIFs. Just type in Amy's and everything would come up related to Amy's Baking Company. Just pages and pages. My write-up of Amy's Baking Company's Meltdown. In about three days, it had reached three million views, which is the highest traffic post I've ever done at BuzzFeed. It became the 21st century version of a water cooler conversation. Everyone thought it was just the craziest thing. It was like covering a breaking news story, except instead of politics, we were following this little eatery in Arizona. Honestly, I've never seen something like this before. They were just that crazy. After the dust cleared, Amy and Sammy took to their Facebook and said that it was hacked and that all of the statements that came previously weren't them. And it was met with this really hilarious, are you kidding me, collectively from the internet? No, clearly you weren't hacked at all. I saw the way that they treated people and what they said on Facebook is exactly how they acted in real life. There is the phrase, no publicity is bad publicity, but at the same time, if you're not careful, the internet can turn you into a sideshow. And I think that's exactly what happened here. The aftermath of the episode certainly took on a life of its own. I remember when I